So in this presentation, I'm going to look at Azure Notebooks. Sorry, I'm going to look at Introduction to Pandas. Okay, and essentially what I'm going to look at really is the data frame uh, object. Okay, which is the way a way of structuring data in Pandas. Okay. Now, uh, just as a remark, I sort of using Azure Notebooks, which is a sort of online tool that you can use uh, when you're, particularly when you're starting out. Okay, because installing things can be quite tough. Okay. Now, there's a couple of constraints and drawbacks to working with Azure Notebooks, but you know it's it's quite easy to get going and learn. After a while, you learn what your where, where the deficiencies are. So you you know you be able to build up a good uh, competency competency uh, that you'd be able to build on later on. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is install all my packages. Now I'm going to install uh, pandas, obviously. Okay. Uh, and import pandas as pd. I'm going to uh, a couple of the other usual suspects are numpy, matplotlib, and so on. Okay, I, re I really actually what I do here tend uh, tend to do here is just copy and paste in the same ones that I use all the time. Okay, uh, not not too many, but there's ones that are sort of at the, the 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 template. Okay, so just run that. There we go. I have pandas available to me now. Now, there's a bit of text there, but I won't read through it really because it's just to sort of highlight the main points. The most powerful and flexible open source uh, data analysis and data manipulation tool available in any language. Okay. Um, so, um, essentially what we need to know is, and just that's just loads of te uh, text there essentially. Essentially, actually the data frame is the key thing, okay? So I have a column of data, or sorry, a table of data that looks like that, okay? And I got three columns, column one, column two, column three, and I got four cases. The Alan Robinson, Kevin O'Brien, Diane Cooper, Patricia O'Connor, okay, okay. So column one obviously refers to first name, column two is family name, and then column three is sex, okay. So um, the so this is uh, the main way of sort of storing this sort of data in a, a, a tabular format is a data frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is set up a little data dictionary. Okay, so this is a, a sort of a very uh, well-known Python uh, object called a data data dictionary okay so data equals uh, column one and that's all the, the 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 values there column two all the family names column three all of the, the male or female and then some random numbers four two you know just some random numbers just to sort of make the text a little bit more rich okay so there we go let's just run that and see what it looks like there that's what it looks like now so all of the information is actually contained in there, okay. But that's a bit hard to read. Do you know, it's a sort of Alan, let's just say Diane Cooper. Diane Cooper's, that's her first name. You know, surname. Family, uh, fem uh, female sex. You know, it's just not really, you have to sort of read through it. And that's just on working with four cases. Even with four cases or four rows, it's sort of a little bit awkward to read through it. Okay, so imagine if there was 4,000. No way. Okay. So what we're going to do here is actually represent it as a data frame. Okay. And there we have it there. Now you can just sort of amend the, that's sort of just jumping around a bit for some reason. But there we have it there. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the data frame, pandas pd.dataframe of the data. So that's that, the data that we, uh, that data dictionary stuff converted into a data frame. And now it's like very clean and, uh, uh, you know, it looks very clean and so on. Uh, f uh, so we have the rows, very easy to pick out all the rows and pick out all the columns. We can, char we can do something about the column names uh, later on, but because uh, some random numbers is a very long column name, but we'll just leave it alone for the time being, okay? Now, so what I'm going to do here is... An index column is, I was messing around here earlier on, so this is what I should be uh, working with. There we go, Patricia O'Connor. So remember index, uh, 
this is the fourth case. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the, the, the fourth case, which is index 3, Pan, uh, Python being zero index language. OK. So um, essentially, we're able to pick out uh, cases by particular numbers. OK. Uh, let's just actually go back to the first case, 1, or like case index 1. That, that's Kevin O'Brien. OK. But can we do ranges? Yes, we can. Okay, that is actually uh, that is, is constructively zero to one. Okay, okay. So we don't when it, it's sort of uh, when it's it's automatically zero. You can just leave out the zero. Okay. So let's do it for the first three cases and so on. So you can do ranges there based on yeah. There you go. Okay. So uh, four means uh, starting with two uh, up to four, but not including four. Okay. So that's just the sort of peculiar that it's important thing to know about uh, how um, Python works in that instance. Okay. So we could pick out some columns uh, just by the name. Okay. There we have it. There, Alan, Kevin, Diane, Patricia. Those are the fir first names. So just in brackets. Square brackets, okay, and just uh, the column name as a column, uh, or the column name in, in quotation marks.